to my channel so today I have another Halloween makeup tutorial for you guys and it's this cute little kitty cat here I wanted to do something a little bit different from all the other cats out there so I looked on YouTube I looked on Pinterest Instagram and what I saw was a lot of like black cats or like leopards cheetahs that sort of thing so I wanted to be a little white kitty cat for you guys so that's what I did for you today and it's actually loosely based on the Aristocats if you guys have seen that movie, um, it's on Marie. She's the little cute kitten. She has like white and has blue eyes and she has a little bow around her neck and a bow in her hair. So I just kind of loosely based it off of her because I think that movie is so cute. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out so you can stay connected and you can catch my next video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because that always helps out. Otherwise, if you guys want to see how I get this cute, glamorous kitty cat here, then keep on watching. All right, guys. So first off, I'm going in and I'm priming my lids and I'm using the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer in the shade Persuade. So I'm just putting that all over my lid area, taking that all the way up to the brow and then just blending that out with a brush. And this is just going to cancel out any redness and give me a nice clean base before I go in with my shadows and then I'm going in with this shade called toasty from the Sigma warm neutrals 2 palette and I'm just starting to dust this into my crease I'm really just starting to kind of get the form or like the shape that I want so I'm elongating it just to really give me like that cat eye shape so just take your time with building up this color and just really starting to kind of like map out that cut crease and next I'm going into the contour book volume 3 by Kevin Aquan and I'm taking the medium sculpting shade and I'm dusting that into my crease as well just because I wanted this to be a little bit more cool toned so I'm using this to neutralize that first shade and then I'm going in with my concealer and I'm starting to cut the crease so as you can see I first put it along my lash line and then I look up and it kind of transfers and gives me a guide of where I want my crease to be because I do have hooded lids and then I'm just going in and elongating that shade just to give me more of that cat eye and just really winging it out and next I'm going into the Kevin Aquan electro pop eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this beautiful white shimmery shade and I am just placing this on all the areas where we put that concealer you just want to set down that lid and really get this to look as pigmented as possible so I did wet my brush I just really want that white shimmery shade to pop and then I'm going into the black shade from the electro pop palette and this is a matte shade and I'm starting to define the crease a little bit more so I'm taking a very small detailer brush and just really running that like along the edge of the cut crease and then I will go back in and I will blend that out so once you got that nice little defined line I go back in and I just blend it out with a little bit of that contour shade and I repeat this step a couple times so I go back in with a little bit of the black eyeshadow and you just want to use a very small amount and then I go back in and blend it out until I'm satisfied with like the depth of the cut crease. This is just going to define it a little bit more. And now I'm going to go in with my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. This is my all time favorite gel liner. It's just so matte, so black. And I'm just gonna give me a nice fierce wing. Of course, you want to kind of elongate this and give you like a, kind of a dramatic wing because that's gonna give you more of like that cat eye shape. And I'm horrible about capturing my liner on camera, so I didn't quite capture the wing, but you get the point. And then moving on to the face, I'm going in with my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I just love this because it's so moisturizing and my skin is so dry at the moment. And then I'm going in with a little bit of the Herborean CC cream and I actually like to use this as a primer because it gives me so much radiance. So I'm taking a little bit of that just for some added glow and then I'm going to go in with my NARS foundation. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli. So just blending that in with my Morphe Beauty Sponge which is damp. And this shade is a little bit too dark for me because this is more of my summer shade so I did take that down the neck as well just to make sure everything is nice and cohesive and blended. And next I'm going in and I'm going to do some highlighting. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer and this is in the shade Swan which is very light. Normally on a regular basis I wouldn't use something this light but because we are going to be a cat we really want to highlight the center of our face and really help to bring those features forward. So I took that under the eyes, especially on the upper lip. You really want to highlight and brighten this area because it's gonna bring forward that area and give you more of like a snout, kind of like a cat has. So I'm just blending this out with my damp Morphe sponge and then we'll go in and we'll 
set that with some translucent powder. I'm using the Fenty Beauty, I believe this is the Invisimat blotting powder. And so I just kind of tap out that area to make sure there's no creases. And then I set that with a little bit of that translucent powder just to make sure everything is locked in place. And I also kind of set around my nose and lip area, just any areas where I might get some creasing. And now I'm going to move on to brows. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I believe I'm using shade number 4. So initially I started kind of just filling in my brows as I normally would. But then I decided I kind of wanted more of like a wispy, fluffy brow. And almost like a messy brow. So I'm just going in and creating these like hair-like strokes at the top of my brow. And making them very messy. Just kind of almost like a cat would have. Very wispy brows. And then I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick. This is an shade mocha and I'm using this to start contouring out my face and just chiseling it almost to give it a lot more like slim appearance so I take that to the cheekbones the perimeter of the forehead of course down the nose jawline and also a little bit under the bottom lip just to give it more of like a plumping effect and then I'm gonna go in and I will blend that out with a I believe this is a tweezer man brush so just blending that out and making sure everything is nicely blended and of course sculpted. I just really wanted like some defined cheekbones and also this just kind of bronzes up the skin. I just love this contour stick. It is so easy to work with. It blends out. It's just like super creamy and effortless. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush to start blending out the nose contour. And I did do the nose contour pretty harsh just because I feel like a cat has a really defined like flat bridge of the nose. So that's what I did. I just really went with a harsh contour and then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Starstruck and this is just such a beautiful highlight I like to warm it up with my fingertip and then place that on the cheekbones I took a little bit to the center of the chin and then down the bridge of the nose I feel like this is just such a stunning highlight and this is a perfect base because I really wanted like a bright vibrant highlight and I took a little bit to the center of the brows as well just to kind of widen that area like a cat has. And then I'm going back into the Kevin Aquan The Contour Book Volume 3 and I'm taking that medium sculpting shade just to even uh, further sculpt and chisel the face. And that's also going to set down that cream product that we used from Fenty. So again just kind of putting that on all the areas where we put that cream product and this is also going to further deepen things up and just kind of snatch that nose even further. Again, like I said, I went pretty heavy on the contour just because I feel like a cat has, you know, very defined features. And then I blended that out with a little bit of translucent powder just to soften it a little bit and make sure it wasn't too harsh. And now I'm going to go into the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm taking this white cream paint shade and I'm just using this to really brighten up the inner tear duct area of the eyes. So I'm just taking that on a little paintbrush and kind of really brightening that area. And then I'm going in with my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and taking that to the inner waterline. And then I'll go start blending out the lower lash line with that sculpting shade from the Kevin Aquan Contour Book. It's like that medium sculpting one. I just put a light dust of that. And then I went into the darker sculpting shade from that palette and again just starting to define that lower lash line and also starting to define just right under that white that I took in the tear duct and just really blending that out. And then I will go in with some black. I'm using that same black shadow from the Electro Pop palette and taking that on a flat definer brush and running that on the lower lash line as close to the lashes and then also defining just right under that little white tear duct area to even make it like more cat-like and then of course you want to go back in and blend that out with a little bit more of that contour shade so everything is nice and blended and then I'm taking a little bit of a um, white eyeshadow I believe this is from the electro pop palette and I'm just popping it on top of that white cream paint to set it in place and brighten things even further and next I'm going in with the Stilla Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and this is in the shade Diamond Dust. This is so stunning. It's like a beautiful like silvery glitter. It kind of has like different reflects in it and I'm taking this to the entire lid area and I just kind of go in with the applicator at first and then I will go in with a little detailer brush just to get into like the corners and make sure I don't get that glitter all over and ruin my cut crease and I decided to do this after my liquid liner just because I feel like it's a lot easier. I feel like it's hard to go in with a liquid liner on top of glitter. 
And now I'm going to move on to the nose. So I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Love Sick. It's a beautiful pink shade. But first I kind of mapped it out with a nude liner. Just so I knew exactly where to place that. And then I went in with a little detailer brush and just kind of packed on that liquid lipstick. And I felt like this was the perfect pink shade. I just felt like the liquid li lipstick worked much better than like eyeshadow. And it's going to stay in place. And then I'm going in with some white from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. And I'm just giving myself a little highlight to the tip of the nose. I basically like put a little line just like in the center. And then I'm going to go in with the Ofra Cosmetics Highlight in the shade Blissful. And this is such a stunning like cool toned icy shade. So I'm taking that of course to the cheekbones, to the center of the chin, and down the bridge of the nose. Just to set that cream highlight in place and make things pop even further. And now I'm going into the Kevin Aquan The Contour Book Volume 2 and I'm taking the candlelight powder from this palette and it has like a subtle sheen to it. So I'm setting the very center of my face, so under the eyes, on the upper lip and chin area just to further brighten and really just like define those features even further. And then I'm going into the Sigma Blush in Nymphy or Nymphe, I'm not sure how you say this. It's just like a beautiful pink shade. It has like a slight sheen to it so I'm taking that to the apples of the cheeks and then I'm locking everything in place with my Too Faced Hangover RX setting spray and just really trying to avoid the eye area. And then for my whiskers, I made these out of like some black plastic that I had found just like laying around and I'm gluing them on to my face with some lash glue. And I actually started to glue them like on the higher cheek area, but then I realized this kind of looked like a bunny. So I took them down further onto my upper lip. As you can see in this next clip, they're kind of lower down. And then I made some little dots on my lip just with some black gel liner, just like a kitty cat would have. So I just took like a little liner brush and some made a few dots on each side of my upper lip area. And then I'm going in with that same glitter from Stila. And I took a little bit onto like a brow brush and I'm just dusting this through my brows. I felt like my brows were a little bit too dark for this look and I just love the effect that the glitter gave to my brows. It kind of lightened them up and then just gave it a little bit more pizzazz. And next I'm going into the Anastasia lip palette and I'm taking the black shade and I'm just going to use this on my upper lip. So just obviously filling in that upper lip and I did set this with a little bit of black eyeshadow just because I don't want this to transfer onto my bottom lip. And then I went ahead and winged out the outer corners just to kind of give me more of like that cat shape. And while I'm waiting for this to dry, I went in and decided to highlight my skin as well. So doing like the tops of the shoulders and the collarbones, I'm using that same Ofra Cosmetics Blissful Highlight. And just kind of making sure everything is nice and cohesive. And then I'm going to go in with the black again and I am just drawing a line to connect my nose to the top lip. And then I'm going to pop on my little bow. This is just like a ribbon that I found laying around my house. So I'm just tying this into a little bow for my collar. And then my this is actually my niece's bow that I had laying around my house. It matched perfectly. And so I just clipped this into my hair and it gave it that perfect Marie vibe from the Aristocats. And then I'm going to go into the bottom lip and I am using the Kat Von D lipstick that we used on the nose. This is in the shade Love Sick. And this just made sure everything tied nicely together. So just taking that to the bottom lip, making sure it dries before um, closing your mouth. And then I'm taking that white paint from Makeup Forever, just doing a quick little highlight to the top of my lip and taking that Ofra Cosmetics Blissful Highlight and just popping that on the center of the bottom lip just to give me some dimension and make the lips look a little bit more pouty. And I also took a little bit of that just to the tip of the nose again, just to kind of tie everything together. I'm a killer. 